All right, so continuing on, uh, we end up with a uh, structural formula for 1,2,3-trimethyl cyclohexane. All of our carbons have four bonds. We're all good. Let's take a look at another example. 3-methyl-1-butyne. So we're going to start off with the parent chain. This is not a ring this time. It doesn't say cyclo, so this is just a straight chain we'll draw. Butes is 4. This is not a saturated hydrocarbon, so we have this "-ine suffix here, Y-N-E, which tells us there is a triple bond. Uh, like I said before, the name will tell us where the double or triple bond is. So that's what this number here is. So we have a triple bond after carbon number one. Question is, where is carbon number one, left or right? You decide. So I'm going to make carbon number one on the left. I'm going to put my triple bond here. And then we have a methyl group on carbon number three. So if this is one, this is carbon number three. Up or down, doesn't matter. So I'm going to go down just for space. And I'm going to add my hydrogens right now. So methyl group is CH3. And our last step is to make sure that every other carbon has four bonds. So we need three more bonds here. One hydrogen there. This carbon already has four bonds, one triple, one single. Uh, this has three bonds so far, so it needs one more single bond, and we end up with 3-methyl-1-butyne. All right, let's take a look at another example. Let's do, oh, I don't know. I think that'll work out okay, and we might... Let's see if it'll work. We'll try it out. So we have 2-bromo, 3-ethylheptane. So again, start off with our parent chain, which is going to be 7. Heptane, so that means that all of the carbon-carbon bonds are single bonds. We have a bromo on carbon number 2. So where is carbon number 1, left or right? You decide. We'll make it on the left. And so we have a bromo here. It's just bromine. And then on carbon number three, maybe I should make it on number four. So I don't know if that's going to affect our, affect the compound here. So let's make that four. Sorry about that. So one, two, three, four, we have an ethyl group, which is a two carbon branch. So be careful with uh, dimethyl, which is two one carbon branches, versus ethyl, which is one two carbon branch. All right, now let's fill in our hydrogen. So we need three hydrogens here, one here, two here, one more there, two, two, three, always on the end here, We've got three hydrogens. And then for our ethyl group, which is uh, C2H5, two carbons, Five hydrogens, we get two bromo, four ethyl heptane. All right, I think that'll be enough examples uh, for you to uh, have a good understanding of how to draw uh, structural formulas. Uh, so it's, again, it's just the exact op exact opposite of naming. So this time we're given the name and we have to draw structural formulas. Uh, most students find that drawing structural formulas is quite a bit easier than naming compounds, uh, hence the uh, less discussion and less examples of doing this versus naming. All right, thanks for watching, and I apologize for splitting this up over two videos.